Sunday School students. Today we are going to be making these really cute special Martin Luther Bibles. Uh, Martin Luther, one of the main things that he did that was so amazing for all people was that he translated the Bible into German. And at this time that he lived in the 1500s, everybody was only able to read the Bible if they understood and could read Latin. But almost nobody in the country of Germany could read Latin. When he translated the Bible into German, the common people or just every regular person that could read could read the Bible for the first time. He did this at a time when the printing press had just been invented and that was available to people. After he translated the Bible into German, the printing press made it so that many copies of the Bible could be printed very quickly. Instead of before this, they had to hand print every Bible or book, and it took a very long time. This way, the Word of God spread quickly, and many people could read it. And after he started this in Germany, the Bible became translated into many, many other languages, and all people around the world are able to read the Bible in their own language. In your kit today, you'll have fruit roll-ups, um, some fig newtons, and you'll have a container of um, frosting. So what we're going to do is you're going to open first the package with the fig newtons in it. I'm going to open first the package with the fig newtons. And we're going to put the fig newtons on our plate. Now, these particular fig newtons are kind of um, long, so I'm going to cut each fig newton in half to make them more the shape of a Bible. And then we are going to cut the edge off, the outside edge off of the fig newton, and you can eat that, so that it looks like a book, like the, br the darker brown are the pages of a book. So, get the crumbs out of the way a little bit. And I just cut the edge, and then you can see it like that. And you really don't need a light knife. This, this, the fig newtons are so soft, you can just use a butter knife. It does not have to be a sharp or dangerous knife when you're doing this. Okay, so we'll put those up there in the, in the edge with all of our crumbs here. Now I have four little, little Bible shapes here. Sorry. Now, I've opened up my um, fruit roll-up. And I'm going to pull that out a little bit here. And I'm going to cut some little shapes that um, to look like a little um, bookmark coming out of the bottom of my Bible. You can even cut, use um, just a pair of children's scissors to cut these shapes. That would be a safe way of doing that. Or you can ask a parent for help. And then we're going to take that and we're going to use, just attach that at the bottom like that. So that it kind of looks like there's a bookmark hanging out of the bottom of each of our Bibles. Now can you imagine what it would have been like a long time ago if you couldn't read the Bible in your own language? I mean, how many of us could read the Bible in Latin right now? Not very many, and not very many people at that time in Germany where uh, Martin Luther lived could read the Bible either in Latin. Now why do you think that it's important for, um, there we go. Why do you think it's important for people to be able to read the Bible in their own language? You're right. If we are going to, if we are going to, be able to use our minds and make um, decisions and um, understand what something means for ourselves. We need to. We really need to be able to read it for ourselves. We can't just have other people tell us what it means, right? It's a more um, intellectual 
a way of learning something to do it yourself. Okay, next you're going to take your frosting and with your frosting you're going to make um, little designs to make it look like a Bible and you're going to put a little cross on it on each one. There we go. We'll make another one on the a little line here. With your frosting. And then you get to enjoy eating and sharing your special little Martin Luther Bible cookies with your family. Enjoy!